Everyone has a character trait or two that makes them a little weird. Like, Greg has this flatulence problem where his farts just smell like a freshly cooked roast beef dinner. Yeah, and Mitch will actually often become a cat for hours on end, and even if I try and talk him out of it, he won't stop. But we all actually have very similar human traits that are super weird. And if an alien came down to hang out with humans for a week, here are eight reasons why they'd realize we're pretty weird. Number one, kissing. Multiple studies have found that kissing feels good and is good for you, but where did it originate? In a Vsauce video, it is said that according to early evolutionary biologists, they think it may have come from kiss feeding, which is parents actually chewing up their food and then, in many cases, vomiting into their kids' mouths to help with digestion. This could explain why kissing has a history of intimacy and trust and closeness. And now we assign kissing to love and affection, but the first two people to kiss, did they look weird? Number two is crying. <laughs> We show love by kissing, but sadness is expressed by water falling out of our eyes. So there are three different types of crying. You have basal tears, which just keep your eyes lubricated. You have reflexive tears, which help you get irritants out of your eye, like dust or dirt. And then you have psychic tears, which are released in response to emotional states. Crying can often feel really good, and that's not only because your breathing slows, making it feel much calmer, but you're not just releasing salt water from your eyes, you're actually releasing hormones in them as well. One of these is a corticotropic hormone, which is actually released in response to stress. So when you're crying, you're literally crying out your stress hormones. Number three, baby teeth. Baby teeth develop in embryonic stages and then begin to emerge at around six months old. The most important role for baby teeth is actually just to make space for our adult teeth to eventually grow in. The reason we don't have our permanent teeth from the get-go is that our jaws aren't big enough to accommodate them. And also, if you were to be giving birth to a baby with a full-size jaw, it would be a lot harder. Number four is laughing. <laughs> We respond by spontaneously yelling out sounds and moving our faces and bodies. It's all pretty weird. But we're not the only ones who do this. Chimps and orangutans laugh as well, and scientists believe it's a way to improve group cohesion by spreading positive vibes and decreasing stress. There's an evolutionary advantage to your laughing, which is why it feels so good to laugh with friends. Number five, clapping. Researchers at Duke University aren't entirely sure how far back applause goes. Primates do clap, but they don't clap because they like something like we do. They clap to draw attention to food or because they're frightened. Babies also seem to learn to clap, so maybe it's not an inherited trait. But researchers do realize that it's all the way back to 3rd century BC where they first noticed that people would applause because plays would end with the word plaudite, which meant clap or to applause. Number six is thinking about death. One of the downsides of our amazing cognitive abilities is that we like to think about death a lot. Studies have shown that people actually are more bothered by the thought of a loved one dying than themselves dying, and they actually worry more about the pain and loneliness of the process. Thinking about death also brings the idea of the afterlife into people's minds as well, causing some people to become more religious. Other studies have found that looming death can have us thinking about our lasting legacy, which causes some people to donate more to charity and strengthen family ties. Number seven, dreaming. Though you might not remember your dreams, you actually do dream every night with an average of about five dreams. We still don't know exactly why we dream, but one Harvard psychologist thinks that it's a way of us actually figuring out how to solve problems. This particular researcher thinks that the highly visual and sometimes weird dreams that we have help us to rethink certain issues or problems in our lives in a different way than we would if we were actually awake. But this is just one of many theories, and it's kind of amazing to think that scientists can find Earth-like planets, 39 million light years away in the Trappist solar system, but they actually don't know what's happening to us every night. Finally, number eight, sending stuff into space. The 1977 Voyager spacecraft went up into space with a golden record that contained sounds and images to help convey what life is like on Earth. Some of these sounds included the blare of a train, sounds of crickets and frogs, a dog barking, and the sound of a mother and child interacting. Other things we've sent into space include pizza, sperm, and human remains. Maybe no other aliens want to talk to us. So, what is the weirdest thing about you? Let us know in the comments below. We want to read them. <laughs> you can follow us on social media, and we will see you next time.